Hi everybody, this is Daniel from Live Broadcasting Rocks. Today it is simply essential to master video and audio. If you are an entrepreneur, lead a virtual team or work as a coach, you know, with a high presence, high quality presence, you are the leader you want to be, you convince, you sell and you just feel better on camera. And that's why I have created my personal guide on how you can easily set up your own video and audio and video and audio equipment. So, and this is how it looks like. Look at this. This is my equipment list for high quality video and audio. Here you will find my selection of the best microphones, webcams, useful resources and practical examples. This guide is made to save you time and money. I worked and tested all of the equipment myself and the idea is that you can download this free. This is for you as service and uh, so you are invited to uh, download this here and uh, uh, here for free basically and uh, so let me just share this is i haven't really prepared yeah here you go this here this is the um, this is the link where you can download it the equipment list it's a bit.ly slash eql 2024 EQL stands for equipment list and so this is absolutely free scan it in with your smartphone and uh, have fun with it okay so this is what I wanted to share I could say bye now but I just thought okay maybe I show you a little bit behind the scenes here what's happening um, right now and uh, just wanted to show you how actually it looks like right now when you look at this behind the scenes here i am right now this is uh, my uh, little home studio here what you see here is a teleprompter and that was the reason why i was also so fluidly doing the um, introduction and uh, this principle is quite simple i have here uh, second uh, iPhone, an older iPhone as a remote control. You see it here now and here behind it you see here on, on this on this here image that I have just uh, also integrated that is the front uh, of the uh, teleprompter. It is basically a 45 degree semi-mirrored glass that uh, displays uh, the i an ipad that is laying here in a flat horizontal way and the ipad uses a special software that reverses the text and i can with this um, here with this iphone remote control the text and that's very handy because the most uh, teleprompters that are there for like budget solutions say it like this which are like for let's say see by professionals like us here like the creators they only have these kind of clickers or they use the uh, keyboard as a remote control which is all very suboptimal i have to say and uh, so this is why i will also issue lay, uh, soon a little guide which teleprompter solution is the best so i have basically three solutions like very cheap that you can use directly from your smartphone then like a semi um, uh, solution with a kind of cheaper uh, uh, teleprompter and then this here this teleprompter that i'm using right now that you can use with an ipad and i think this is like even though it's not really expensive it's already like very uh, very low budget uh, in comparison when you think like how much this would be if you would work in the or if you would be in the television or like really like high-end uh, sphere where you buy these things for thousands of dollars so let's go back to the um, thing that i have prepared for you today and that is the equipment list and i have another iphone here prepared with my 
uh, equipment list in English in the English language. No, I haven't. <laughs> Actually, I haven't prepared it, so I really quickly need to to uh, to to load it. This is it here. Um, this is what I wanted to share with you here. This is the equipment list. No, this is not what I wanted to share. Here we go. Let's quickly uh, set it up. This is the. Uh, here we go. I have. Yeah, this is this is it here. This is what I wanted to share. This is the equipment list that I am sharing live right now uh, for you. And uh, let us go through the equipment list. And I'm open for your questions. Really happy that you are following. My name is Daniel Schwenger. I am the founder, CEO and idea giver behind this idea of live broadcasting rocks that should uh, give you the possibility as you are a creator with a mission uh, to go out with video in the most professional and fun way. So you want to look good. And so many people ask me the question, hey, what's the best webcam? What's the best microphone? What do you suggest? And I love it. I love these questions because they always expose me to new things. And I would like to share this list with you here that you can benefit from it basically. And let us just quickly for the next half hour, I will really make this quick. Um, so you can download, of course, this list for free. You are invited to download it anytime um, here at this address uh, here that I, that I just uh, shared here. Here, the equipment list, EQL with Bitly. Where is it? Here you go, the bit.ly link. Um, that is, of course, possible for you to always uh, get. No problem at all. So let us quickly dive through what's possible in terms of the current state of art, what is possible in sound, in podcasting, in video gear, what are their resources for creatives available, and what are different application examples. So first, Let's go to sound and podcasting, where I am first showing, like I think, the state of art, the best um, condenser podcast microphones. What is a condenser microphone? That is basically a very high-end, very sensitive microphone for studios, which really picks up every sound bit. And so, especially if you want to sing in a very low pitch or if you want to then also have very differentiations, you can use a condenser microphone. And so Rode has just issued a new Rode NT-USB Plus microphone. Here you still have the Rode NT-USB um, normal version. This is, has already been a great USB microphone. Uh, the new Rode NT-USB even has like USB-C capabilities that you can directly plug to your, through, to your um, iPhone or smartphone. That's, this is a great podcast microphone, absolutely to recommend. The smaller, this is a smaller brother here from Rode, the NT-USB Mini. Like if you have less space, I think it is from the design not that great. So I would always prefer the NT-USB because it also has from the, uh, from the angle from the microphone, it's able to pick up the sound much better. So here, that's a solution, the Samsung Go mic clip um, USB microphone. That is a travel microphone that you could use for your laptop, basically. And it's very small, uh, also quite small in the price and uh, like an inno in innovative solution, uh, like has a good qual sound quality uh, after all. And so therefore, I put it into this uh, list. So if you need a condenser microphone. And now let's move to the dynamic microphones, the dynamic podcast or uh, computer microphones. So these microphones you can always use if you are on Zoom, if you are on your, um, uh, if, if you are on your Zoom call, if you're doing a live like I am doing right now, this is great because this gives the listeners, the audience really the appreciation that you are close to them, that you're caring 
for them and this is what you need. And uh, I just have a comment. I see the first comments are coming in. So it's wonderful uh, when I'm going live in the international uh, community, there's much more going on. Thank you very much. So leave your question if you like, so I can see your comments um, on LinkedIn, Facebook, no matter where. So this is also recorded because I am using this uh, later on as a blueprint or like a basis for a YouTube video where I am cutting like my recommendations a little bit uh, into forum uh, to also support the, uh, the list, the equipment list. And as I just said, this is like a little sum up of the equipment list that has been recently updated and that I um, present now to the community where I just would like to give my point of view what the, the best uh, audio and video devices are there that you can use as a creator. And you can download it here on bit.ly uh, slash EQL 2024 equipment list. And this is my recommendation for high quality video and audio. So let us move on. From the microphones, here we are at the uh, condenser microphones. Now we are at the dynamic microphones. Why? What's the difference? Dynamic microphones, they are very good in live and event situations where you are just a little bit like you, you have maybe some background noise and you would like that background noise not always being so sensitively shown or, um, well, uh, trans transferred or broadcasted or whatever, picked up. And uh, so this is then uh, your choice to use a dynamic microphone. And so Shure is one of the leaders of microphones, especially comes from, from music industry, from like this is the microphone that Michael Jackson used and uh, obviously like for the sound. And Shure has now issued this here, the MV7 podcast microphone that can be used via USB cable. And why is that nice? Because you can directly plug it into your computer. Otherwise, you need a podcast recorder to record uh, the sound or the podcast recorder then need to be uh, plugged into your computer. So this is here uh, always a solution that I'm showing that had, uh, has at least a uh, USB cable. So the Shure MV7 is uh, like a, like a high, uh, higher priced uh, microphone, but very good and I use it myself. I bought it, was ready to sell it again, but I kept it. So the Samsung uh, Q2U uh, microphone, that is a budget friendly USB microphone and uh, it is 69 uh, uh, dollars so don't get anything like to a to a, to a lower price I guess and uh, so yeah have a have a quick look while I quickly switch the um, switch the battery which is fortunately I have it here right with me <laughs> like the battery kits here we go and yeah some some light is urgently needed for the viewing experience and um, yeah, so that is the Samsung Q2. That is um, also a microphone with a, a XLR cable for a podcast recorder, audio mixer, and a, and a computer as well. So a go-to microphone if you are uh, looking for a nice uh, like dynamic microphone. And then there's also the Yeti GX. Uh, microphone Yeti is always a go-to solution for gamers, for creators, and uh, Yeti has just issued this new redesigned fancy microphone for content creators. Especially it has uh, a, a plug-and-play functionality and many uh, like functionalities to bring in already sound patterns or sound profiles that has been that you can uh, program in advance so to have like the best voice uh, for the situation okay and that is the yeti so let's now go to the podcast recorder so if you are have a microphone you want to record it somewhere you can either record your like your podcast on a 
um, on the uh, computer, of course, but that's a little bit complicated, I would say, especially um, when you want to be at a place where you really feel cozy, you feel also like that the sound is okay, so you don't want to always schlep around the, the computer with you. So therefore, a mobile podcast recorder sometimes makes more sense. And also in terms of the, uh, of, of like the, of the sound a level that you can easier adjust there. I think it's just nice to have a podcast recorder like the Rodecaster Pro. Roadcaster is uh, the mixer and uh, recorder um, in one where you can plug in at, uh, as many as four microphones. So if you have like a group podcast, uh, that is a great device. Then you also have uh, the possibility to plug in four headsets so for everybody can listen to and uh, to himself or self speaking and the others, of course. And then you have also, what is it called? Um, you have these little sound pads on the right where you can assign the sound as you like. So either it's music that you assign there or use a special sound like clapping or like background music. And that is nice because you basically have like a little radio studio here uh, where you can do your own show with very high end microphones. Yeah, and uh, look at that. Here we go to from the biggest solution to the smallest solution, and that's the Zoom H21 Handy Recorder. That is basically a microphone, high-end microphone with a built-in recorder. And uh, I think that is a nice solution if you are on the go for a lot of times and you are, for example, in a hotel and you want you have then time and you want to record your own podcast. And you can then use the Zoom recorder to just record it. You have to be, however, very uh, disciplined to do it in one go because the thing just records. It's like a big dictaphone uh, with uh, like high-end micro with a high-end high microphone. And then you also need to, well, then of course to take the sound file and then uh, you have to, well, edit it to have it a podcast then. Then the next thing is the Zoom P4 pod track. That's the same thing, but with just uh, without a microphone, but the possibility to connect four microphones here. So that means with the podcast with the pod track, so you have the cap capability to have a little studio for four people mobile studio where you plug in the high-end microphones and then you make an interview among four people and that could be for example if you are at an event and so then you set up the microphones with the people at the event you have a cozy spot where it's not so much background uh, sound and then you can record your own podcast with this mobile podcast studio the pod track so what else is an uh, useful accessories for audio that is the stand here for example the adjustable boo well what is it called the, uh, the adjustable is it called boom or beam stand okay so i think it's like we would you know what i mean you see it it's a secure microphone placement versus uh, and versatile with versatile height adjustment built with sturdy steel, steel yet lightweight for $27 by Amazon. Why is that important? Because when you stand, you have a better volume of the voice. So that is like every singer, like every radio anchor. So make the best of your energy, of your capabilities, use your voice. And uh, so therefore such a microphone stand can just, um, well work miracles when you do your recording of your podcast and you know you have the what about like if you if you buy this great microphone and then the microphone cannot really pick up the sound very well because you don't have a good stand so that's not possible or it's like just a short stand that is on the table and you have to bow over your uh, microphone, which is then uh, disadvantages for you. So if you do a podcast, you have to be aware 
that the sound is the only source that your audience can listen to. So if you don't feel comfortable, if you feel um, well pressed, basically, uh, not, not necessarily depressed, but pressed because you are like having an unhealthy um, posture, then it's not good. So then this will be the result of uh, like a podcast where people don't connect so well with you. So you want to be comfortable and uh, in a good mood. So another device, another accessory that is very useful, that's the, uh, w that's like an arm, a wave, a microphone arm that you put on the table and that lifts the microphone over the computer monitors, for example, uh, when you need it, but it's able to store away the microphone when you don't need it. So you don't want, for example, if, especially if you have limited room on your table, on your desk, you don't want to have like so many things lying around. So therefore the Elgato Wave microphone arm can be an absolute miracle and lifesaver. So if you have the um, pod track or the other, pod, um, the other Zoom podcast recorder, you need an SD memory card to record the sound files on. Then if you have an audio mixer like the Rodecaster, you need an XLR cable because here the microphones are the normal standard uh, XLR connection that are, is used in studio and live um, event um, environments. So now we are moving from the sound to sound of silence to video. And here is a picture of my, uh, like uh, one of my video, um, uh, video filmings. And uh, I was uh, certainly using uh, the equipment that I'm proposing now. Not this here, not the webcam, because webcams are more for an internal or for an inside use in your home studio. And what is the particularity of a webcam? You connect it with a USB cable directly to your computer. And the Logitech MX Brio Ultra HD 4K, that is, I would say, probably right now, the, I don't know, can you compare it to a car? But it's like probably the most advanced um, car here in uh, the Logitech, uh, <laughs> in the Logitech garage. Um, they have here this new um, device that is a 4K um, resolution device with uh, AI enhanced um, features that help with the light conditioning conditions and also deliver um, clear audio with several microphones. So Logitech as the market leader, the Brio uh, has already been one of the best 4K cameras out there. And so this camera is just smashing it again. I will, I will soon test it, this camera, and make a separate review about it. So then when we talk about webcam 4K, this is the webcam that you should also consider. This is the Opspot Meet AI 4K camera. I think that is a, such an inter interesting camera because of its 4K um, well, what is it? Let, let's just read. It's a 4K webcam which has a 1.2.8 inch um, chip, right? Like it's, it's, I think it's not called graphic chip, but it's the chip basically that sort of collects all the, um, all, all of, well, all the visual data. And uh, here it's a big chip, therefore it has a lot of room and uh, more room than actually the, the HD solution needs. And therefore, um, the AI technology helps to always put you in the center of the actual image. And this is because the, well, the sensor, uh, that's what I was looking for, is so big. So this is like an AI feature. You can also say it's cool if you want to zoom in because if you have like this great sensor with uh, like this kind of dense resolution, then you can zoom in without a quality, uh, with a lack of quality in this regard. So this is a great webcam. I think you should always go 4K 
when you uh, buy a webcam because it makes you kind of um, well water uh, what is it weatherproof for the future because here 4k will play a more and more important role if you have then a computer that can handle it there or if you already have a computer that can handle it that's great because then you can record your videos in 4k quality and who, and then is um, advantages this is beneficial for you why because um, the videos will just have the better resolution they will be served uh, in priority by youtube and the social networks you can always see that the 4k videos they have an advantage when they are um, proposed to the uh, audience and then there is another solution because um, you know there can be great solutions without paying anything extra and this is something where I can uh, definitely contribute to save you $200 uh, for just reusing your used um, and your old smartphone. And especially the iPhones have a great graphic and uh, graphics or have a great photo um, unit. The uh, lens is great. The sensors are great. The computed imaging is amazing with the iPhone. So why not using an old iPhone as a webcam? Um, and you can do that with um, the iPhone 10, for example. I have here my old iPhone 10. Where is it? Here, it? here it is. I am using it as a webcam. I'm using it as a remote control. It is absolutely fine. I don't care if only so two hours of battery life uh, from 2018, that's still fine for me. Um, for the live videos, that's more than enough. And I can also use it as a remote camera and I use it as a webcam because the image quality is so good, especially the light distribution and uh, sort of the, it doesn't really have a big problem with different lighting situations. The iPhone, it still looks great. So this is a way how you can use it as a webcam. And there are two apps that I would like to refer. This is the Camo Reincorbate app where you can use any smartphone as a webcam like Apple iPhone or whatever, Samsung Galaxy or what. Or you can use then if you have a Mac computer, the inside Apple feature that is out there uh, since one and a half years, that's called the can continuity camera feature from Apple, where you can basically already connect your iPhone as an additional webcam. So that is uh, for the webcams. And now let's go to the sound again to wireless microphones. I am using a wireless microphone right now. So I am having here a um, wireless unit that is it looks like this here i have this little microphone here connected with a lavalier um, microphone a clip-on microphone that is then here and this wireless microphone transmits it to a receiver that is connected at my computer and uh, then the computer picks then the sound up from this receiver and uh, so this is possible by either the DJI mic, which is a high quality USB microphone or the one that I am using right now, that is the Rode Wireless Go 2. That's, I would say, probably the sta stand of art wireless microphone, a wireless microphone that is proven for video recordings and Zoom calls for outside conditions, uh, like with a long distance, and you can use it for two people because you can also then use it for a micro for an interview situation where you interview somebody and uh, like two microphones lead to this one receiver and uh, well basically feed in the sound uh, from two signals and that's all very easy to do and so as you see here the wireless go 2 has two um, sets of microphones and normally you can also use these microphones here these microphone pieces as they are but they are a little bit clunky so therefore 
I would always recommend to use them with a so-called add-on or clip-on microphone, uh, a lavalier microphone. This is for a more discreet placement on the shirt, collar or on your uh, whatever kind of uh, clothing you wear. It's available in white and black. It is simply plugged into the radio microphone transmitter, the TRS um, plug. And when purchasing, when purchasing it, may uh, yeah, put attention to the TRS connector with two rings. So there is like the two ring possibility and the three ring possibility. And in about 15 minutes, we will go to the TRRS connector that's always needed if you have a computer laptop in use and you want to plug in the microphone directly or a smartphone. So you need then the TRRS with three rings that already said in advance. So now I am going over tripods and gimbals. So a tripod, what is it? So this is my favorite look. So first, like, let's make a little advertisement announcement here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. So if you see this, wow. So this here is a, this here is a tripod and it is also a, here a selfie stick because you can use it. You can put this here. You can click, you can open it here and then you can put in here the smartphone and then you can basically use it as a selfie stick. So we all know this, so I'm not the best one to come uh, explain you this. So you have to ask maybe somebody from, from, from China, from Far East. So they are the experts when it comes to selfies, but selfie sticks. But this thing here, which is actually also a great Chinese company, Yulanzi, um, this is one of my favorite products because it's very smart to use. It's very discreet to use. You can, it's quite small from the size, but you can basically use the telescope arm. And then it has here on the bottom, it has this possibility to fold it up as a tripod. And this then gives you the possibility to use it as a real, well, sturdy uh, little tripod where you can put your iPhone or your smartphone on. Why is that uh, nice? Because you can be at an event, you can put your iPhone or your smartphone on this uh, stand and then you can just speak with your hands and you are free and so you can let your energy flow with that. And that for a price of $20, come on. So it's a no brainer for me and uh, the product quality is quite good, user friendly. The only thing is be aware that here you need to open up, be, be aware of your fingers. And then I think it is not so clear to 50% of all the first users that you can actually have to clap this. So let's have a look again. So here you have to, no, I mean the other one, here we go. So here you have to just twist, twist this part and uh, then it is opening up here. It is quite flexible and then you put in your iPhone. So that's the idea if you want to buy this device. Um, so if there was anything that you think, uh, if I, I just have a low budget, but I need something that, to really enhance my visibility, then that's that. This is the, the thing to buy because it enhances your visibility, it's low budget and it's really something that you can always use. You will probably use it for your, your smartphones, for the selfies, for a video. It's just great. I love it. So then if you want to spend more, more money like this, like if you have a bigger budget and you want a real, well, the absolute um, pro uh, tripod, then I would recommend the Ulanzi Zero Y. Um, it's called Zero Y, yes, tripod. Because why? Um, the, the question is, it is very lightweight, but it's very sturdy. It has an 80 kilogram um, capacity. So that's something for like the really big cameras that you can put on, but it's, it's, it is just very sturdy. So you can be sure that your, that your 
um, precious uh, digital camera is not like falling behind or so. And uh, I have tested it, I like it. And uh, I think that's, that's the tripod I would always use. It's very easy to fold, it's just great. So then let's move on to another type of tripod that is a gimbal. Um, a gimbal is here uh, is an intelligent smartphone three axis stabilization which provides a stable platform for your smartphone recordings but not only it just makes smooth uh, scenes so you can run you can uh, jump it is always stabilizing the smartphone and lo just looks great when you then uh, move uh, through as through an event uh, with a gimbal, um, that is just a wonderful thing and uh, it's quite uh, well competitive in the price. The DJ Osmo, uh, D DJI it's called, sorry, Osmo, that's already there for the sixth series and uh, I think the first ones were a little bit difficult. Um, now it is quite, quite more uh, user-friendly and uh, it even also has a telescope arm which uh, makes it able to also, well, yeah, give you the stand-up possibility and it follows you around, you know, so you can then really talk. And the same thing that it's follow you, following you around is done with the OpSpot Me. That's a versatile uh, cam, um, like it's a, it's a f what is it? Yeah, it's a foldable selfie holder that allows you to follow your clamped, uh, your, your clamped smartphone. It allows you to move freely during presentations and calls. So, and now from the, this part, we are moving towards uh, really high-end vlogging cameras. So this is not to be forgotten. The better the camera you use, uh, whether for your live video, for your Zoom presentation, or for your uh, YouTube video that you're filming outside, the better, of course, the result of your of of your film, of your of your image, of your um, uh, here of of your production. And so, therefore, 4K high resolution cameras are a great investment, and. The one is the Sony ZV-E10 that is highly well rec to recommend for any vlogging but also sorry for the webcam feature where that you just connect to your computer and you can use it as a webcam. So it's via USB and uh, the result is striking because of course with the lens of such a um, Sony camera so you can put in different lenses uh, namely Sigma lenses that just provide this great look and feel and so I'm using the same system right now I'm using here the Canon AOS M50 with a Sigma lens and you can see even though it's a little bit dark behind that it is just giving a great um, that is just giving a great um, depth here and bouquet. So I am just showing you again here the here why this might be a little bit dark because I am just using the um, teleprompter because of the teleprompter glass it might look a little bit like darker. So I am just uh, switching this quickly and uh, we are doing it like very <laughs> well improvised. In this regard, maybe it was a bad idea, or maybe it was a good idea. Let's see how it looks like. Mm -hmm. So I will quickly set it up. Here I am. Does it look good? No, not at all. Let's put it back. Um, let's put it a little higher here with them. Yeah, great idea. Great idea to do this like on the go. Thanks for staying with me. And let's just pretend it's, it's done in a matter of seconds. <laughs> yeah, I just need to readjust like for 10 centimeters here. And then this is done, but you can see a little bit behind the scenes, which can be inspirational as well, I would say. So 
All right, so, so why am I here today? Because I wanted to show you the equipment list that is out there and uh, I'm just leading you through the equipment list and through going live. I'm having the possibility to show it. Look, now the picture is quite brighter because the mirror glass is missing and it's just a little bit um, more inviting and I don't have the biggest light installed today. So it's much better now. And what I am now showing you is the equipment list that you can easily uh, also get, obtain for free, like going here to this QR code and to this web address bit.ly slash EQL 2024 equipment list. And that is my recent list that I'm sharing with you. All right, so we go now from the uh, high-end uh, digital cameras here, the Canon AOS fifth Mark M50 Mark II, a versatile camera for video and streaming. The Canon is like the mirrorless camera with a 24.1 megapixel APS sensor. It can record 4K and full HD videos and certainly also um, is very versatile bringing this signal into the, the computer as a webcam signal. And so I am using right now here the Canon M50 and uh, this is just, uh, yeah, it's just great um, to just know that difference that it provides because here the picture that you're getting right now is from a Brio, um, from a Logitech Brio camera, which doesn't have any depth at all. But as soon as I am uh, switching here on the Canon camera with a Sigma lens, it's just a different picture. So you have a very nice picture in, at the end where I also play a little bit around with my background. Let us go talking about background. I am uh, talking about studio lighting. Here you should have a light that is adjustable and gives you different color temperatures. And the Elgato key light is such a light that has 2,800 lumens, which is kind of bright enough for a, a studio, for a home studio, for like your office space. And you can uh, range the color temperature from yellow to blue. And uh, so one light um, is normally not enough. You need two lights for left and right to, to even out the, uh, here, uh, the light for you. And if it's like too big, then you have the key light, from, the key light air from Elgato, where you al already also need two lights. And the newer ring light is a ring light that is just bigger than the normal ring lights that you would all buy in like, uh, like the discounters basically for 20 or 30 uh, bucks. So this ring light has a 45 centimeter diameter. That means that it's really big, that it sort of sheds the light more evenly to your face. You can also put like a bigger distance on it and you can put in the smartphone basically into the uh, into the ring and you can also put in several smartphone into this uh, ring sometimes people who wanted to go to instagram live were favoring this but now you can also go live with your computer via instagram and uh, yeah, a newer a ring light is a good solution for people without glasses because normally if you have like a very um, bright light, this light is then reflected in the glasses, not such a good thing. So therefore people with glasses need to play around a little bit more, more in a complicated way. But um, for people without glasses, use a ring light. So here now we come to home studio um, utilities. I am presenting a green screen. Green screen means that you have like a foldable chroma key um, green background that is giving their computer the signal that this green background can be replaced with some other 
proposed picture or moving picture or still picture. So why is a green screen especially good? Because it is the standard color and the computer has a clear signal to replace it. If you're using the virtual background from Zoom, this is a different thing. Zoom is trying to make the best of it, what kind of background it gets and tries to mimic around you, around your profile, this kind of virtual background, whether it's the Eiffel Tower in Paris or like the company background. But at the end, it looks not so satisfactory most of the time. And therefore, it's not to recommend, it's not re recommended at all for everybody who wants to stay authentic or wants to be seen as authentic, trustworthy and where you would just like to show your real flavor. If you want to, of course, do something fake or something, okay, so then that's, that's another decision. But I would always propose you to be real and like if you're using a background uh, that is replaced, then let's do it in the best possible way. Use a green screen. So that's the word for the green screen. And then there's also another solution. That's the photo backdrop. There is a signature background that you can decide for yourself with like a kind of more or less eternal background, a photo drop that you buy yourself. So it can be quite big, like two to three meters. And so this is the, re this is the case here in my studio setting. I have um, put up this, uh, uh, this backdrop here and yeah this is how it looks it's just the size that the camera can be about one meter away from me and still it looks good it looks kind of not too bright it looks not too uh, well too kind of whatever exciting but it still looks interesting enough to um, give some well, some flavor for it. And so this is what you, that probably what you need. So you want to present your home studio context in another way. And sometimes if it is not perfect around you, if you don't have so much possibilities to, um, to, to create your own studio background, then just use such a backdrop that you just buy for about 20 to 50 dollars and it's an absolute great investment so i have this here for four four years and uh, so yeah it will be like a big thing when this will be replaced i have to say don't know what comes then so elgato stream deck that is something maybe also i quickly put it blow it up again so this is a device that you can use as um, basically it's a shortcut keyboard. So here you have different um, assigned keys that are absolutely flexible that you can assign and this is now connected to the computer and to different um, apps that are running. And for example, I have set to have, for example, um, this scene here to the equipment list. And if I press now this scene, I am back at this scene that I have assigned with the overview, with the live view of the uh, equipment list. So if I am going back here, where, for example, yeah, here I am back and uh, I can then, without thinking so much, be absolutely concentrated on the stream being in the interaction with the camera, with my audience, with you. And uh, so it's an easy thing. So as soon as you have to look for too much, you will lose the uh, connection with the audience. This is what I wanted to say about the here, um, the stream deck. And of course, you can always click on the QR code. You will be uh, directed to an Amazon link in your specific country. So the apps and resources for creators, that's something that's very dear to me because this is the most of the time the software, the apps that I am using and, and the forefront Ecamm Live. Ecamm Live is a Mac uh, standalone um, live streaming app 
and recording app. And so I'm using it as a basically a studio for everything like recording videos, going live or also recording podcasts. Everything is possible with Ecamm and it's computer based, gives the possibility to, to record high end 4K um, as a quality. And the nice thing, you can include several sources than just one camera. So you can also put in overlays like I am doing here. So this image here is created by different overlays like this here is an overlay. This here is an overlay. I can, I have then this picture here as an overlay. Look at me and I'm shaking it. And uh, so this is all done by Ecamm Live. Therefore my favorite pro, uh, program, my favorite app. And if you want to test it out, check the link ecamm-livebroadcastingrocks.com or click on the or, or scan the QR code. And uh, then we go to Riverside FM. Riverside is a recording suite uh, for PC and Mac. It is uh, cloud based and is especially directed for podcast creators. What's nice about it is that it also records uh, the video and it records it on the hard drive and assures that every bad connection is then leveraged uh, for the final editing. So here we have the same principle at StreamYard. StreamYard is a cloud-based live video and recording suite. If you want to go live, if you want to record videos, um, just videos with that, this is a great possibility because StreamYard provides uh, logo overlays that you can customize uh, overlays of the title of your name, um, the way, a, a way how to also share the presentation and record it. And for many people, StreamYard is the go-to uh, solution when they want to go live, when they want to record, because it is quite bulletproof, I have to say, for beginners. The costs are $25. And uh, yeah, in, in a way, uh, a good, it, it's a good investment. I can recommend it. I have used it and uh, you know what? It, it just works. The, about StreamYard, that's the thing. Uh, and a lot of users from PCs can then uh, be highly creative through StreamYard. Uh, they cannot be uh, cr creative from PCs with Ecamm, even though Ecamm is offering just more possibilities. I have to say Ecamm is like highly versatile and has just much more functions for the same money, even for less. So now let's go to social media posting. If you are out there on social media with your mission, you need to cater several social media channels. Otherwise, you will always be well exposed to, to some people and the other ones that are on other social networks will miss out on you. So on the other hand, the solution cannot be that you are on social media the whole day because you just have to post on this network, on the other network and here and then you start all over again. This is why social media management systems came up and offer the service that you do the social media posting at one central place. That is planning of the social media post that includes the planning and that also includes the preparation of the posts several days, several weeks ahead. That is the nice thing about social media uh, managing software and normally this is a solution that has been very, very expensive and only been able for agencies to use. That was for a long time the business model of agencies that they used social media agent management software to run the social media accounts for their corporate clients. They did it with a software that sort of made it, uh, that gave a lot of uh, productivity boost. And so the agencies could, well, cater several uh, corporate clients but it had a price. Now 
these uh, possibilities are available for like the average user for a very low price and one of the best solutions out there is called Nue Link and that is something where you can with an investment of $90 a, a year or $15 uh, a month have this benefit of having your all of your social networks um, taken care of at one place without logging in and logging off all the time. If you want to check it out, use the affiliate link here, newlink.com, question mark, via, uh, equal Daniel. So then there is a solution for creating your own digital course and community. And that is um, through this system that I can recommend to you. And that's called Mentor Tools. Normally, you have probably heard of Allopage or Kajabi, where you can um, well, basically put up your website and your course and you can host your course and then also sell your stuff. That's great. And Kajabi and uh, Allopage have been the pioneers, but they are still incredibly expensive. And I think that's not fair. I think it's too much and uh, affiliate costs are basically to pay this to, uh, to others. So I think it's a little bit like... Um, like uh, not so clear if you are starting your own new digital product and you have then to pay $150 for a Kajabi license, that's just a lot. And this is why I think new contenders like Mentor Tools need to like deserve the attention and I tested it and it's a great probability what they have or a great uh, great offer that they have they have a lot of functionalities that Kajabi has like for example using also an app a web-based app for your courses and uh, to then be able to present your courses through a, an own app with like much lower costs and Mentor Tools, for example, has no limits how many courses you are catering or you are having on the system, which is amazing. So other platforms limit you in the, in the number of courses you have and uh, also like rip you off <laughs> here, basically the more courses you have. So this is really something that I would say Mentor Tools deserves like to get like a chance to get the trial. And uh, so if you're interested, use the affiliate link. There's also an affiliate link, by the way. And uh, but obviously like to a much lower cost. And uh, so I am happy with it. I have my own like academy um, on uh, mentor tools and uh, I'm very happy with it. So the royalty free assets for visuals and audios. What is that? That is the background that you need as a creator and uh, somebody who is doing presentations or videos or podcasts. Yeah, you need some, uh, some colors within, right? So you, of course, you can all like kind of quench it out of yourself, but squeeze it out of yourself, but it's boring. So you need some additional imagery, some additional visuals, uh, some videos, some sounds. But you know, these have all normally been either have to be produced by yourself because you made these images, these videos, or you need to pay royalties because somebody else has done it. And so these services offer uh, royalty free stock images that are very high quality and very diverse and also audio video and templates. And so therefore Envado Elements is the market leader for this, ta this stuff. This is absolutely great what they offer. Uh, high value for a very low price of $16 a month. And uh, if you want to test it out, use the affiliate link or the QR code uh, indicated. Just scan it in and uh, do a trial. Uh, I love Invado Elements and I use it for a lot of things from uh, presentations to just like doing my social media um, imagery sometimes it's just like for example I just had an article about a job interview 
and how important it is to have the right technical gear. So of course I was looking for a, a nice uh, picture of a job interview and I just got it there. Just better than just taking something that is uh, draw it yourself, for example. So Epidemic Sound, that is the go-to place if you just use, if you are particularly looking for great sound. What does that mean? Great background music, great music, even like sung music. Epidemic Sound has it all, especially great audio files, really songs in all different colors, rhythm and blues, uh, hard rock, um, meditation music, you name it, sound effects. The nice thing about the, the tracks of Epidemic Sound, first it's royalty free, you can really search in a huge database of different sounds and then if you download the sound you can also download it uh, as in different tracks. That means that you can for example strip away the bass line or you strip away the vocals or you strip away or take away the, 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 the other parts of the music you use it as you like and especially for podcast production the epidemic sound offers a lot of variety and uh, so i think there's nothing that that is missing here so epidemic sound also a great price for uh, what they offer so now here is the application examples that i would like to share with you at this uh, hour now that i am talking so this here is basically my solution that I used when I went live for the first time and I, had a, I didn't want to spend so much. So I knew that it is important to have a great camera, so I had the camera. But I also knew that it's good to have a good, close, proximate voice. So therefore I, used, uh, I bought a lavalier clip-on microphone but the lavalier microphones they are normally very short and, they, and that's for a reason because if it's too long then it's also a high risk that you kind of bend it or if you cut it uh, out of a sudden or you stumble over or whatever so therefore you can use a if you need more space, you can use an extension cable. And so I used it, uh, an extension cable and plugged it into the computer. And that gave me basically the, the distance, the, the, the limit, liberty to basically to speak in a good voice, having a good distance from the computer, having the camera eye level, and that's it. And so this is what I would suggest to you if you are now going out doing video, doing live video, doing good webinars, use this solution, which is basically less than uh, $60 uh, to implement. You to buy the lavalier uh, microphone, uh, well, which can be costly, and then you buy the extension cable and then an adapter for your smartphone if you're recording it with the uh, with a smartphone so all of that roughly 60 70 dollars and so what does it give you you have then the iphone or the smartphone that you can put on a tripod and then you just use the extension cable with a microphone all together and you are then free you can speak the voice and the sound is important. For your video, the sound is the most important thing. And if people cannot hear you, if they cannot follow you, they will shut off. So therefore, invest in your microphone. And I would say, buy a smart laugh um, plus lavalier microphone. And here we come to the nice feature of here, the TRRS cable with the three stripes. So a lot of people make the mistakes that they buy the microphone that they want to connect on the computer, on the smartphone with only two stripes. It's the TRS cable. And these are the cables, the TRS cable to plug in into, for example, the wireless microphone transmitter. But that is like the internal, well, uh, this is like some internal news don't need to know but these with the three stripes the TRRS cable you need to use when you plug it into a smartphone 
because it includes the headphone and the microphone signal at the same time and stereo, stereo as well. So therefore use the TRRS cable and therefore buy the Rode Lav, Smart Lav Plus lavalier microphone for smartphones. Just that you know because there are a lot of people buying this wrong. And then use the extension cable, extension cable logically, the TRS 3.5 millimeter extension cable, namely the Rode SC1 TRRS cable. But you can also certainly buy other cables which are less expensive. So I think here you shouldn't, don't necessarily need to buy the Rode cable. You can also buy it on uh, whatever, any discounter, as long as it's long enough. And now I am having here an out, now it's gone. So what happens? Okay, so now let's go to the last um, here, to the last example that I would like to share with you, how you can make your digital um, creation work. And this is your or my proposal for a virtual camera assistant. It's basically all with the parts that are already presented. This is, let me just make this bigger, like a camera stand, like here, the Ulanzi MT44 um, tripod, extendable um, smartphone stick tripod, where you put your smartphone on with a, uh, where you clip it on. And then you connect it with the receiver of the wireless microphone. And then you are able to basically do your show while you are standing, while you are outside, while you are talking, the microphone sound is picked up by the, well, by the receiver, well, by the transmitter part of the wireless Go microphone which is here. This here is the transmitter part. You have like this part with the lavalier cable and then you, this will be picked up by the receiver, by the wireless go receiver and it will be fed into the smartphone. So this is like your virtual camera assistant, especially if you use this part here, the Opspot Me. The Opspot Me is an AI hold controlled selfie controller which moves with you. So if you are doing your live video or your recording and you have this Opspot Me on, it will follow you automatically. So your smartphone is clamped into this and it's on the selfie stand. And uh, then basically you're using like a gesture like this, holding up your hand and then it follows you around. And you know what? I have used this for my best videos. For, where, for example, when I have been at the Joe Dispenza um, uh, advanced retreat in Cancun, I used that. I was out there um, in, front of the, uh, in front of the event uh, place and I was just talking about it. I was moving around. I had my microphone installed. Uh, you don't see it because <laughs> the shirt is uh, too, too, cl too, too colorful. But basically you can see it in the, uh, as an example, or just go to the video, uh, go for live broadcasting rocks and then go uh, as Cancun uh, as, a, as a keyword and look for the video. And you see that sort of the camera is always following me. I am speaking with a clear voice and that's it. You know, you don't need any best buddy, your, your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend to hold the camera for you. Actually, the best videos are there when we're doing it for ourselves, when we are at our own energy. And this is what I'm proposing to you. you do like set up your own, um, your own thing when you are at an event and uh, like be the reporter for yourself. Do it. You no. Know? And uh, believe it or not, these are the videos that I, that I have done that brought me the highest, um, the highest views. And uh, these are in now thousands, thousands of views on YouTube because I was out there. I was really in an authentic situation. I was saying what I was seeing. I was in the moment. I was in the feeling and it was just like, like the perfect video for what the people were looking for. 
And when people are looking for a referral now or for an, like an idea of what this event is about when they go to the Cancun Advanced Retreat, so they see it. So they see me moving around and it's nothing that where I'm sitting at home at my desk. So I'm just coming back from the retreat. It was three weeks ago. What can I remember? Like these things as normally, nobody has done it like this. Um, I'm proud about it and uh, it was great. And so this was the setup for it. So do it as I do and uh, earn your money on, on YouTube with it. So, and this is it. And so this is now over an hour. So um, there are like some people that have made it like that long. So hold your hand up, write me a comment or a reaction. Who are you? So you are your hardcore viewers right now. So um, get a big hug from me and uh, thank you very much for your tenacity in this regard. So if you're interested in that, uh, what I'm doing, um, so uh, then just, um, just uh, sign up for the newsletter and if you are more interested in how you can make your own, how you basically create your own uh, television station for your mission, then just get in contact with me. What do you need? If you feel shy about it, if you think, okay, I have something to say, but I don't know how, let's talk about your tech set. If you feel still shy about it and you still have, your, now you have set up your big studio and you're still not going out, talk to me again because it's then your mindset. It's your self-image that is uh, playing you, um, uh, sort of that playing against you. So you have a mission that you want to reach out, you know you have it in you, but you don't do it. You're procrastinating and this is a clear set of mindset uh, where your mindset is holding you back. You are staying in the comfort zone because you're afraid that you might not have it all right, that you still need to read another book, you still, still need to write another book before you go live. Uh, you know, this is all uh, things that are holding you back from being in your true moment, in your true self. And so if you want to know how to get this resolved, how you get into the action, how you get into the doing, how to well, yeah, also let the energy flow because there's definitely something that wants to reach out from you to others, to inspire others. Then let's get into contact. I'm happy to help you. And uh, these are my final words for today with the start into the weekend. Now it's about 11 p.m. in uh, Western Europe. Uh, it was a great pleasure to do this and uh, I was actually waiting for this moment for a long time. I just did it. There, is another, there are people waiting for me, but I just thought I'm sharing this with you. Don't forget to subscribe to this uh, here to this equipment list. Just download it. So you just need to enter your name and your email address. Uh, that is just uh, just in case you wanted to be on the newsletter. If you don't want to be on the newsletter, you can, you can unsubscribe immediately. So it's all free. If this is a service for you, um, I'm super happy. If this helps you to go live, speak your truth, your mission, show your colors. That's exactly what I want. To, uh, that's why I'm here. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from you if you enjoyed it. Wishing you a great evening here from Geneva, Switzerland. Looking forward to seeing you live. Have a great day. Bye-bye.